Hi, I'm Neil. And I'm Noni. And we're here to take you on a tour around the interchange. To find out who does what and why. Let's go? Let's go. So here we are in the newsroom. We're talking to Mark Davies and he's about to explain for us what all these pictures are behind us. OK, well, it's, I guess, as you can see, this is where it all comes together. We've got images coming in from our crews out in the field around the world. It takes a lot of planning and logistics. We're using different satellites, the internet, store and forward devices to get the images into the intake desk here and obviously get them out as quickly as possible to our clients around the world. So, Mark, what happens to those pictures once they're actually here in the newsroom? OK, we've got two ways of getting them out. Obviously, if it's breaking news, we get it out as quickly as possible on our live service, AP Direct, and through the Eurovision news exchanges in Europe. Otherwise, we've got a team of producers here who'll take that video. We might edit together different pictures from different parts of the world. And they'll also be working hard on a script and shot list so that our clients around the world can use the video and the text together. So this newsroom has recently been combined with the other newsrooms, hasn't it? It has. That's been the great benefit of moving into the new facility here. Obviously, before we had photos and TV and text in different buildings, but the cooperation since we've moved here has been fantastic. It means all our people out in the field are working together and all the teams here are working together, which makes a much better product for our clients at the end of the day. Bob, I really want us to chase the story that Lewis Hamilton is signing for Man United next season. I've heard that you've got to do it. Bob, you've got to do it. This Bob. is ridiculous. Look at all these things I've got to do Bob. now. I mean, oh, sorry, last warning, Bob. Ludicrous. Bob, I mean, I you're off. Early well, bath for you. Simon Hayden might be a qualified referee on the weekends, but by day his job's the international sports editor at AP. And the job was designed to make sure that AP had a better focus on international sports. Simon, can I borrow you for sure. a moment? So um, you've already made quite a few changes here. What's the biggest one been? Mainly soccer to football. We changed soccer to football soon after I started because most of the world's media use the term football to describe the round ball game. And uh, what exactly does the desk do here? We've got a mixture of editors. These are the guys who turn the, the mind coal, the raw stories, into the gold dust, into stories that we can send out to our subscribers and our clients around the world. And we've also got several reporters who are out there getting the scoops on, U on UK sport, covering football matches, chasing up the scoops. Great, thanks. Simon recently arranged a star photo opportunity with an icon of European football, the Premier League trophy. The other side of AP's sports coverage is SNTV. So, Ali, what is SNTV? Um, SNTV is the, uh, the world's leading uh, video sports agency. Uh, we provide uh, customers, I mean broadcasters all over the world with uh, six bulletins, six sports bulletins a day, uh, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Uh, our, our coverage uh, includes all kinds of sports from popular sports like football to some bizarre and uh, funny sports like wives carrying and cheese chasing and uh, and because uh, SNTV is a partnership between uh, IMG Media and AP, we benefit also from the uh, videos of, and uh, broadcasting material from AP to provide our clients with the best uh, sports coverage. Now let's focus on AP's Europe, Middle East and Asia photo desk. Odd Anderson is the regional photo editor, and on any one day he might have to sort through hundreds of images working out which make the best news photos. So Odd, tell me, what does make a good news photo? Well, first of all, we are journalists, so the content has got to be there. Uh, we're there to record uh, most of the time uh, events or news happenings. So that, that's the main thing. Obviously, when content and form comes together, that's when you get the perfect news picture. So what does that mean? Can you give me an example? Well, first of all, you've got to have to be there when something is happening. And as you can see of this first picture here, which is a Formula One race, and uh, someone's crashing. At this point, just being there is enough and you can record it. Obviously, when you're there trying to tell a story uh, as a photographer, a journalist, you can go beyond that and, and try to, to, to get a composition and put other elements in the picture to tell the story completely. And how much creativity do you have in making pictures appear nicer than they might have been at first? Well, uh, all your creativity uh, as a photographer and journalist has to go into the work at the place. There's uh, very little room for enhancing anything at all afterwards. We, we do our cropping, uh, we do uh, adjust 
elements of color and, and tones, but uh, nothing is going to be added, nothing is going to be taken away. Uh, tamper with the content, altering the images is completely forbidden. And how difficult is it dealing with people in an organization where they might be all around the world at any one point in time? It's, they are spread over a big geographical area, so that, that has its challenges. Uh, I try to talk to people on the phone as much as possible. When they're on the, in the field, we use instant messaging all the time to, to give feedback instantly. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a constant battle just trying to, to keep in touch with people, definitely. Great. Thanks very much for that, Odd. We'll uh, let him get back to work and uh, snap to it. Associated Press photographers have been recording news events for over a hundred years. There are literally millions of photos stored in archives like these around the world. And Rob Taggart's the man who makes sure we continue to make money out of them. Hi Rob. Hi, how are you doing? So how do we do that? How do we actually make money from all these old photos? Well, we have our customers, our global customer base, television documentaries, book publishers, websites, uh, educational programming. They're, they're and as we change the multimedia, we go into DVD creation, and that's going to be the new type of publishing. So the market is vast and untapped. How do you actually get one of these old images from a glass plate to a customer? Well, for example, this picture here, taken in 1922 of the uh, Hudson River, I guess from the air. So if we got a request for this, we would scan it digitally, then um, upload it to the AP Images website, and from there the customer would pull it down but it would not only be there for the customer who requested it but it would be there for eternity. So it's all about working in new technology with the old technology? Exactly. So there you go. Hopefully you now have a better idea of what goes on here at the interchange. And if you do have any more questions contact your line manager or have a chat to HR. But that's quite enough skiving for now. Back, Back to, to work! work.